Insanity, I am the beast that he's cancel me. Granted, he is handsome, handsome with the bread, but underneath, way under feet, I cannot see the soul. Up in the grease, like the holes in the ozone, up in the heat, like holes in the snow globe. You reach a beast, get pro, check the logo. Hey, H, kill haters, call the docs, patience when I'm stuck in pray surveillance. Watch my patience, take your plate right off the table. Tell them, wait here, waiters waiting in my water. Fishy rappers hit the cadence, is it tip when I drop down? You know it's time for prayers. Think I need a moment, man, I'm zoned out. Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get a free glass of OJ. What's going on, YouTube? It's Knox Hill, and we're back with our reaction series. So today, today, man, today's a big day. It's always going to be a big day when you finally welcome Joiner Lucas back on deck. Now you guys know I read the comments, the good, the bad, the ugly, and there is definitely one that has been highly requested in regards to Joiner. I'm talking about his recent track with Lil Baby, Ramen, and OJ. This should be a good one. But before we go any further, guys, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to the song in the intro. If you guys like that, yes, I'm a rapper. There's a good chance you like my breakdowns, the way that I think about music. You'll probably like my music as well. I have a new album, Chaos Theory, 20 tracks, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Heart and Soul. So much put into it. So if you want to support me and support this channel directly, I'll put that link below. Also, shout out to the merchandise, guys. If you like what you see and what I'm rocking today, knoxhillmusic.com. And that's the plug. But anyways, anyways, we know what we're here for. Join her. Step up to the plate. Let's see what you got. What's he saying in that lower cadence? I need the money like I need to breathe. <sighs> wow. I got some needs. I need the money like I need to breathe. I need some honest and I need the scheme. Ooh. I need the W by any means. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. I need the money like I need to breathe. I need the W by any means. I need the scheme. I need to get out of my situation. And I just love already the visual story that Joyner is painting, man. Like he just knows how to come with these creative concepts that just captivate you immediately. I mean, you start off and the piano's rolling. It's like fucking Mozart meets hip hop, man. I love those piano rolls. It's just so smooth. And then you have this gradual zoom in on Joyner just holding a dude up. And then even more powerful when he fires a shot, almost like, hey, we ain't got time to play right now. Let's get it sorted. Breathe. I need some honest and I need the scheme. Oof. I need the W by any means. Yeah, that, I, yeah, that I mean. Tell that little bitch that I'm out of her league. Enough is enough and I think I'm allergic to suckers. You niggas keep making me sneeze. And I'm out for blood and I'm making them bleed. You try to run and I'm breaking your knee. I made them fall like I'm rigging the lead. Hold up. What? All right. This is, this is pretty dope. So you have him at first holding the dude up, right? And to me, that's like old joiner. That's struggle joiner right there. And then you have... The joiner of the now, who all of a sudden has someone opening the door for him as he's getting in the car, about to be chauffeured somewhere. And then you have that seamless transition as the camera rolls again. I love how the camera is sliding and we transition scenes. And then you have joiner, what looks like old joiner, getting held up by the police. So it's like one extreme to the other, isn't it? Wow, this is cool. Tell that little bitch that I'm out of her league. Enough is enough, and I think I'm allergic to suckers. You niggas keep making me sneeze. I mean, that line right there. I talked about this before. Sometimes there's lines where it's not like it's a crazy double or triple, right? But it's just one of those when you're like, man, I wish I would have wrote that bar as an artist. Like it just it just hits you differently. It resonates with your soul, man. That little bitch said I'm out of her league. Enough is enough, and I think I'm allergic to suckers. You niggas keep making me sneeze. And I'm out for blood and I'm making them bleed. You try to run and I'm breaking your knee. I made them fall like I'm rigging the league. You know I ball like I blame for the league. I mean what I. You know, a ball like I play for the league. He's balling out, trying to make it, trying to shine, but also like playing for the league. And how many times have we seen these situations and where you come from, right? Like not everyone gets to start at the same point in life. Not everyone comes from the same communities. And, you know, I can talk about this and what I've seen in PG, but a lot of times to get out of your situation, you got two choices, man. You either ball the fuck out and you somehow make it into the NBA and that's your golden ticket out of there like the Carmelo Anthony's that we've had, like the Rudy Gaze that we've had, or you rap. You rap your way out like the Wale's, like the YBN Cordays. And then if you don't do A or B, then you don't want to know what C and D are like. That's all I'm saying. Running, I'm breaking your knee. I made them fall like I'm rigging the lead. You know I ball like I blame for the lead. I mean what I say and I say what I mean. I ain't no joke, we ain't making no memes. If I pull up on them, I'm making... I ain't no joke, we ain't making no memes. 
I'm serious right now. We're not out here just like doing it for the clicks. We're out here living this life and using this music as an outlet. I mean, that's real I'm seeing right there. And what I love about this delivery is Joyner's sort of drop down lower cadence that just matches the piano. It's like do 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 do, and he's holding out those E sounds. He's got like a lazy sort of held out delivery on that. It's just a smooth flow, man. I mean what I say and I say what I mean. I ain't no joke. We ain't making no memes. If I pull up on them, I'm making that scene. Damn, that got me the boo 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 boo. Cause I thought that was gunshots at first, but hold up. That's a really cool ass transition right there. So that's that's the flashes of the camera, the paparazzi shots, but it makes you seem like he's shooting on him because he's talking about pulling up on him right now, making a scene of things. If you really want to take it there. Say what I mean. I ain't no joke, we ain't making no memes. If I pull up on him, I'm making a scene. And I'm making them scream Straight from the bricks I need a lick I drink the body since I was a jig Nigga on lick How can I miss Came from the bottom and got me a Since I was a Did he just say jit? Juvenile in training? I think he did I drink the body since I was a jig Nigga I dreamed about it since I was a jit Yeah that's right Since my come up in my story And shout out to the Patriots baby you know I'm a Tom Brady fan. We got the classic Patriots gear on. Right and I'm making scream straight from the bricks. I need a lick. I drink the body since I was a jig. Nigga on lit. How can I miss? Came from the bottom and got me a jig. Bitch, I'm a threat. I got a flex. You want the crime or don't? Oh, yo, I just noticed. Hold up. Hold up. Hang on. Don't go too far, Knox. Come on. Yo, me. I made him fall like I'm ringing. That cop right there. Leave. I drink the body since I was a jig. Is that same cop that's holding people back? Nigga on lit. Yeah. Again, the transitions, right? Him getting pulled over. He's got his hands up because we know we don't want to do anything to stir controversy with the police. Black man getting pulled over, right? And then that, tr that transition right there, so seamless but says so much. Now all of a sudden, he's got paparazzi behind him. And who's holding back the paparazzi? That same damn police officer. Wow. Make him scream. Straight from the bricks. I need a lick. I drink the body since I was a jig. Nigga on lit. How can I miss? Came from the bottom and got me a jig. Bitch, I'm a threat. I got a flex. You want the crime, I don't know what it takes. I am built different. I'm not what you think. I cannot lose. I go out with a bang. I hope you never say my name in vain. I'm with whatever. I hope you never say my name in vain. I've been trying to figure out what is going on with his voice because there's like... A little bit of a different sort of resonance to his voice that I'm not used to because Joyner does have sort of that that rough voice. It's like it's you're always trying to clear your throat, but you can never clear it. But there's like this smoothness to it. And I think what they've done is they've put in some auto tune just a little bit. It's not like over the top auto tune. All right. And listen, those of you who are like, oh, why the fuck are you using auto tune? No, auto tune when used properly can be very effective. And I think in this case, there's like a little bit of auto tune just on the back of that mix just to give it a different kind of cadence. And it works really well when he has this delivery where he's really holding out words because auto-tune serves more for singers. But when a rapper does it, you definitely want to pick certain words that you want to just hold out. Right there, the vein, you can really hear it just coming through, cracking through a little bit. I'm not what you think. I cannot lose, I go out with a bang. I hope you never say my name in vain. I'm with whatever, just not playing no games. Never say my name in vain. Now shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Do not take the name of Jordan Lucas in vain. The next God up. Get what he's saying with those lines? I like that, man. I like that. These are just... I cannot lose. I go out with a bang. I hope you never say my name in vain. I'm with whatever. Just not playing no games. I know they say I change. I cannot say the same. I bet they want me shackled. They're locked in the chains. I get that. They say I've changed. I cannot say the same. That's a deeper one right there. You know, they're saying that I've changed because of my situation now. But when I look at them, what have you done? Change is not always a bad thing. We take that as a bad connotation. Oh, you changed. You're famous now. You're big. All right, yeah, my situation's changed, but what have you done to handle your situation, to handle your business? Get what he's saying there? <sighs> that that is my favorite bar so far. Whatever, just not no games. I know they say I change. I cannot say the same. I bet they want me shackled. They're locked in. There's that cop again. There's that cop when he's getting arrested. Again, one side to the other side. Shout out to Tupac on his shirt too, man. Rest in peace. Like if that just what happens with bad news. On my mama, I never been fragile. I'm the wrong with the. F that same damn lawyer. Oh wow, these connections. The same person. Hold up. Now this got me thinking again. Hey, we pause it a lot on the channel. That's what we do. This dude. That dude. That dude. I need the money. Like I need to breathe. I need some honest and I need the scheme. I need to. All right. I think. Are you by any means? Is that him? Yeah. Wow. All right. So what he's doing is he's taking the same person from the the this situation, from the dark situation, and changing it. But having that same person stay and his role has changed 
in the now successful situation, in the now current joiner Lucas. So past joiner to current joiner and one side to the other side. And he's using the same person to help with those transitions and changing roles while he changes roles as well. Wow, that's super dope, man. That is really cool. All right, so now we got the lawyer transitioning. That ledge is not playing no games. I know they say I change. I cannot say the same. I bet they want me shackled. They're locked in the chain. I guess that's just what happens with bad news. On my mama, I never been fragile. I'm the wrong with the fuck with this taboo. Turn you niggas to R&B tattoos. Still a young nigga feel like a OG. Turn y'all to R&B tattoos. Hey, don't mess with them. That's taboo right there. Y'all shall not speak of that. Kind of playing on the, you know, don't take his name in vain lines as well. I like that. I'm the wrong with the fuck with this taboo. Turn you niggas to R.I.P. tattoos. Still a young nigga feel like a OG. Can't forget all the shit that they told me. Tired of niggas thinking that they know me. You gon' turn me back into the old me. You gon' turn me back into a savage. I done did shit you couldn't imagine. Level ah, so now we use the homies to transition because they were all celebrating popping bottles when he signed the deal. And then we went from the light to the darker situation now. And they're trying to deal with this. Up and then bought me your mansion. I Is that OJ? Is that OJ and Ramen? Shout out to the title of the track. Me back into his yes, it is. I don't dish it, you couldn't imagine. Leveled up and then bought me your mansion. I can never go back to what has been. I can never go back to the old days. No way. Back to walking to work. There it is, leveled up, bought me a mansion. I can never go back to the old days. And this is what it is the old days compared to the current days. This situation compared to that situation. I love the way that he paints the picture and the come up story and the struggle as Joyner does, man. He's such a great storyteller. Back to thinking when my ex was my soulmate. That one hits me differently. Back to thinking when my ex was my soulmate. That one hits me differently. Back to telling myself it'll be okay. We'll be okay. We're surviving the rhyming and OJ. Shorty paying the bills I had no say. I can never go back to the bottom. To the bottom, selling drugs never know when the cops come. Nigga jealous, they wanted to rob us. I was just trying to give me some dollars, a couple dollars, turn my pennies from hundreds to common. Selling drugs never know when the cops come, and that's the thing, and that's the allure of that. And this is a little bit of personal experience talking too. You know, feels good. You make that first sale, you make the next sales, you start making money, you start feeling like you're the next thing. But there's only so long you can go before it catches up with you, before the police get you on their radar. And then it's game over after that. I was just trying to give me some dollars. A couple dollars. Turn my pennies from hundreds to common. I'm so happy them days are behind us. I ride by different spots, I get flashbacks. I can't get on your level on past that. Watch me run that shit. I ride at different spots. I get flashbacks. I like that. Again, the status that he has now, but when he's driving back through some of his old places where he came up. He just thinks about where he was and where he came from. I can go back to none, trying to get to the top of the world. My nigga went now this you can definitely hear more of the auto tune in his voice. Auto tune's definitely more over the top than it was on Joiner's voice. He probably did that. Joiner made that choice, I think, with the auto tune to kind of match up with the style and the flavor that Lil Baby comes with. Nothing like uh, transitioning from a Nerf gun to an actual gun with the gunshots there. All that spinning block, listen, little boy, should we catch him? We rocking his world. I let everybody have their fun with me. Never had a woman say she done with me. I was working out on the company. I keep money coming in constantly. My little brother done be having runs for cheap. Trying to get it. I've been on the run for weeks. I think none of you niggas could come for me. Both of my kids got it on. She on the real deal. Uh, All the way on half step. Again, I love that transition. Like, you wonder who's at the door. Someone finally coming for him to end him. And then now look at where he is. And now look at who's coming through the door. I mean, you're definitely swiping a different direction now. For me, both of my kids got it on. She on the real deal. All the way on half step. Gotta do better than last year. All the way, I don't half step. You know? I go all in. And as the saying always goes, scared money don't make no money. That's my motto. Put a switch on the brick for the auto. Put them things on the plane like I'm... Put a switch on the brick. Better than last year. That's my motto. Put a switch on the brick for the auto. Put them things on the plane like I'm Rollo. Try to say that... On the blick, on the blick. That's my motto. Put a switch on the blick for the auto. For the auto, right? Taking it, making it a semi-automatic weapon on the blick. He's coming with the weapon reline. Gotta do better than last year. That's my motto. Put a switch on the blick for the auto. Put them things on the plane like I'm Rollo. Proud to say that I find it. That's my favorite line from Lil Baby. He just pulled that one out of left field on me. Put them things on the plane like I'm Rollo. Yo, Rollo, man, who basically. Was just dealing to all the celebrities in Atlanta, man. He was on, he was arrested on his plane. I mean, there's there's pictures of him like flexing on Insta, flexing on the grand man, and he's just got like stacks of money. He's eating filet mignon. It's like, look at my life and my status. And then 
Motherfucker got busted, man. He got busted with over, what was it, like a million dollars in Mary Jane on the plane? Woo! Got them things on the plane like I'm Rollo. I love that line. Auto, put a switch on the blink for the auto. Put them things on the plane like I'm Rollo. Try to say that I finally changed up. Why the fuck they keep bragging my name up? Cause I'm popping. I can never go back to the whole day. Mm. No way. Back to walking to work on a cold day. Back to thinking my ass is my soulmate. Back to telling myself it'll be okay. We'll be okay. What's the vibe in our room and OJ? I was paying the bills I had no say. I can never go back to the bottom. To the bottom. Selling Look at him. Look at him stirring up that ramen, man. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with ramen, all right? I survived for many years on ramen. Never know when the cops come. Niggas jealous, they wanted to rob us. I was just trying to give me some dollars. Couple dollars. Turn my penis from hundred to commas. I'm so happy them days are behind us. I'm so happy them days are behind me. I'm so happy the baby don't found me. I like that line. Hang on. So happy them days. Hang on, hang on. Some dollars. Couple dollars. Turn my penis from hundred to commas. So Turn my pennies to hundreds to commas, right? It's a progression in terms of where you're going, what your status is. Before, you're just, you're lucky and you're happy to make a little bit of spare change and to save a little bit. Now all of a sudden you're talking about checks. Now all of a sudden you're talking about commas. What a status change of life. Happy them days up behind us. I'm so happy them days up What's the body bag doing? I'm so happy the baby don't found me. I done keep some good niggas around me. I got rid of them niggas down me. I'm so happy the paper don't found me. I like the way that that's put. I've said this before, man. Joiner. Joiner is next up for me. He is like, he's a street poet, man. He's up there with like the Nas's of the world and the way that he kind of thinks about things and the way he sees situations and the way that he puts it to pen. Wow, cutting that caution tape, which transitions to uh, just like a opening ceremony celebration right there. And I think the body bag represents what could have been if he would have stayed on that path and stayed in that life and didn't have this chance to get out. Once you cross me, you're nothing can save you. Pull that thing out of fear. It's dangerous. Bitch, I'm dangerous. Once you cross me, nothing can save you. Right? Got a little bit of the religious bars right there crossing you, the Jesus line, saving you like Jesus, like making the sign of the cross. Don't cross him. Don't get on his wrong side. Once you cross me, you're nothing can save you. Pull that thing out of fear. It's dangerous. Bitch, I'm dangerous. <laughs> And we end it where we started it. And where the fuck did he go? Written and managed on Tully. Oh, is that Jordan Lucas's app? I think that's his app he's been promoting. Tully, man. Directed by Joyner, see? That's the thing I love about Joyner is that... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Still a little bit sick and I just uh, coughed my lung up real quick. But anyways, that's the thing that I love about Joyner is that... He doesn't just do a typical music video where it's like point, click, shoot, let's just repeat the lines and make something look dope. It's no. How can we tell a visual story? How can we take whoever is watching on a different type of journey than just taking them on the journey that the song takes them on? I mean, you got to respect the grind that Joyner puts in and where he is now. I mean, he's just, he's a talented lyricist, but the thing I love about it is that he knows how to be lyrical and when to be lyrical. He also knows how to make songs that can be very mainstream friendly, that are very open to a wide audience and range and base. I mean, I'm sure we'll see by who comes in to watch this video and watch the comments as they come in. Jordan knows how to play the game, man. But he knows how to keep it real with substance too. Jordan Lucas? You were not so certified. So hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Comment down below any other Joyner Lucas songs you want to see me do or if there's other artists you want to see me check out. I try to read all of your comments, guys. I respond as much as I can, so please keep commenting and keep posting. Also, if you're here at the end of this video, do me a favor, subscribe, notifications on to help support the channel directly. I read a stat that 60% of you who watch these vids are not subscribed, so do me a favor, guys. If you're here at the end of this, obviously you're enjoying the content, hit that sub button. As always, this is your reminder to stay safe, stay positive. It's Knoxville. Catch you again soon. I'm out.